जब से मानव जीवन का प्रारंभ हुआ है तभी से उसे अंतरिक्ष को समझने की जिज्ञासा रही है आपसे एक सवाल पूछूं? बिल्कुल मुझे बताइए यहाँ से भारत कौन सी तारीख को नेशनल स्पेस डे के रूप में मनाएगा वेरी सिंपल ये ऐतिहासिक दिन कोई कैसे भूल सकता है ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ ऑगस्ट जी हाँ तेईस अगस्त 2023 हजार तेईस थी जब चंद्रयान तीन सफलतापूर्वक चांद की सतह पर पहुंचा और लूनर मिशन के बाद अब इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यानी इसरो बिल्कुल तैयार है अपने सोलर मिशन आदित्य एल के साथ इसरो का मिशन चंद्रयान पूरा होने के बाद सूर्य के बारे में पता करने के लिए मिशन आदित्य एल को लॉन्च करने वाला है आदित्य एल को प्रक्षेपण के लिए तैयार किया जा रहा है इसमें इसरो सूरज के कोरोनल मास इजेक्शन के बारे में पता करेगा यानी कि इस मिशन के जरिए सूरज से निकलने वाली आग की लपटों पर रिसर्च की जाएगी आदित्य एल में आदित्य सूर्य का नाम और एल एक ऐसी कक्षा है जो सूरज और पृथ्वी के बीच की ऐसी दूरी होती है जहां दोनों का गुरुत्वाकर्षण शून्य रहता है यानी ना तो सूर्य की ग्रेविटी उसे अपनी तरफ खींच सकती है ना तो पृथ्वी की जहां से सूर्य को आसानी से स्टडी किया जा सकता है वेल काउंट डाउन टू इंडिया सोलर मिशन आदित्य एल वन है स्टार्टेड द लॉन्च विल टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम श्री हरिकोटा आंध्र प्रदेश एंड ज्वाइनिंग अस फ्रॉम श्री हरिकोटा नाउ इज डॉक्टर एन सुधीर कुमार गुड मॉर्निंग डॉक्टर सुधीर वेलकम टू आर शो सर डॉक्टर सुधीर इज दी डायरेक्टर कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग एंड पब्लिक आउटरीच विद इसरो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक टू आस्क यू डॉक्टर सुधीर व्हाट आर द यूनिक फीचर्स ऑफ आदित्य एल वन फाइन थैंक यू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू द शो आदित्य एल वन इज अ वेरी स्पेशल मिशन टू स्टडी दी करोनल मॉस एजेक्शन ऑफ द सन एंड सोलर फ्लेयर्स how actually sun is affecting the heliosphere because sun is a very energy source you know and it it not only produces the energy some of the ejections unwanted uh, undesirable ejections as far as the human life is concerned uh, so these studies are very important for us to protect our assets because we have thousands of crores of space assets in the space in terms of satellites mm -hmm. and ground systems we have very sensitive ground systems we have and for the planes we have where a lot of navigation systems and automatic systems are employed in, the, in our own uh, let's say civilian planes so to protect these instruments we have to have a mechanism to find out what is going to happen maybe in a couple of hours so this is mission is a very important mission to us which will preempt us look some some danger is going to happen please be alert in a simple language because i am not using the technical jargon yes <clears throat> in a simple full way so when solar flares and solar uh, let us say emissions come we have to get alerted to protect our assets well in before well before that's why this mission is very important for us to get pre alarm alert, alert to receive the pre alerts so that we can save right. our assets uh, dr sudeep what is the main objective for this mission uh, that is what <clears throat> what i said was this mission objective of the mission is very clear to study the sun because solar flares is the one if you just see uh, the old missions or earlier missions which were done by nasa the sun is a very peculiar uh, star which is nearest star in the solar to us and in the solar system center of the solar system right. if you just they see closely observe there are some flares which will just eject which 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 we cannot predict what is the reason why they are ejecting that kind of solar flares they are emitting solar photons energetic photons why it is behaving like that mm -hmm. second thing is uh, what is the uh, let us say time that takes from solar uh, from sun to reach to the earth so that it usually the particles takes 15 to 18 hours to reach the earth surface right. but in the meantime when we put a uh, satellite in between the satellite is in the lagrangian point one what we say the, the meaning of the lagrangian point is always it will it will see the sunlight because sometimes mm -hmm. it will not uh, go into the eclipse so that's why these points were chosen there are five passage points which is the nearest to the earth is at least 1% of the uh, distance between the earth and sun right. so when you put a satellite around this lagrangian point 
always you will be seeing the sun without any eclipse that is the first uh, objective of the right mission. that's why the, the name sun. comes adite which is after the sun and l1 as you said the lagrangian point 1 exactly mm. so like exactly. you said there are thousands of uh, satellites in the space because now we are increasingly moving towards space technology uh, would adite l1 then help identify the space weather Yes, space weather, space flares, space mass, coronal mass ejections. These are all the different terminologies that we use uh, for quantifying the effects of sun on the heliosphere. So these are all, all the things which so then magnetic behavior. We have seven payloads on board. So each and every payload uh, has been decided uh, designed to study a particular behavior of the uh, let us say sun uh, solar. Uh, solar solar rather sun mm -hmm. effect in the halo sphere but uh, do tell us dr sudhir uh, india does have a solar observatory in udaipur rajasthan so when we have this first space based solar mission uh, what can we accomplish that we can't from a solar observatory here in earth see that's what see the ground based observatories will uh, it has got its own limitations first point see, you cannot study as close as possible and you has to go to uh, an atmosphere where lot of disturbances take place lot of dust will take place and you cannot do 24 by 7 okay during the night time you cannot observe the sun you know and second important thing is you are, you wanted to protect the earth if you are on the earth what is the use you have to be somewhere so that you will get an alert before the <laughs> ejection masses come to there you have to you, yes. have, you have to take uh, some kind of precautions missions you know that is the reason we put the satellite so that is what i was telling for ma these masses these ejection masses hmm. will reach the sun in 15 to 18 hours hmm. whereas magnetic field whatever the communication that you get from the satellite within couple of seconds you will get it so you will have lot of cushion time okay. to power off the assets so that the assets will be uh, protect so dr sudhir the launch is scheduled on the 2nd of september saturday morning 11:50 is everything ready the rocket PSLV XL the payloads everything in readiness yes yes perfectly ready we are on we are on schedule as of now uh, tell us something about that uh, uh, spacecraft ah uh, that's what the spacecraft is a very uh, very important science mission for us from astrosat uh, after uh, de decommissioning the astrosat astrosat is one another beautiful uh, spacecraft i should say lab, lab on the uh, in the space it has produced a huge amount of data and produced so much research content after that we are going for this prestigious science mission which is going to study the uh, sun i could say a couple of let us say payloads i just wanted to explain for the for the interest of the public there is one visible emission line chronograph which will study it is the prime payload i should say we It, this is going to study the entire coronal mass ejections of the uh, right. sun then and there is another payload so, yeah. yes and and dr sudhir we can take great pride in the fact that spacecraft is indigenously manufactured it is 100% indigenously using our own uh, let us say resources within isro as well as institutes like iuka indian and indian institute of astrophysics Mm -hmm. Yes uh, so we wish you all the best uh, Dr Sudhir for the launch tomorrow thank you so much for joining us on DD morning show and telling us more about Aditya L1 solar mission thank you thank very much thank you so much have a good day thank you thank you thank you so once again a reminder that it will be on the 2nd of September Saturday morning 11:50 that uh, we will witness the launch of PSLV XL which will carry the safe spacecraft Aditya L1